guys, it's Autumn Lacroix. Today, I want to answer your guys' Q&A questions. Now, to fill this all in with people that don't know, I made a video a while back called Ask Me Your Questions, where I asked you guys to ask me your questions so that I can answer them in my first Q&A video. I got a pretty good handful of questions from you guys, so I just wanted to thank you in advance. I've always wanted to interact with you guys this way, and I'm excited that I will get to you today. All right, quick disclaimer on this first question I'm going to answer. In the video, Ask Me Your Questions, I asked you guys specifically to send me one question per person this individual sent me three questions three months before making that ask me your questions video so I want to answer this person's three questions as an exception so without any further ado let's get started so this is from aces aces 12 and it reads I know you like acting and was wondering if you were in any school plays or anything like that and what your favorite play slash part was. As you guys know about me, I love my acting, I love performing on stage, especially when I once was a dancer. I've been in quite a lot. The first play that I can remember being in was probably in grade two when I got to play the main role of Little Red Riding Hood. I got to be in three church productions. One, I was an extra. The second one, I was a mother. And the third one, I was a youth leader named Grace. I was in two big dance productions with my dance company. We did The Wizard of Oz where I got to be one of the flying monkeys. And the second one, I was Blanche from Greece. And if you don't know who Blanche is, she was the secretary at the school. Now those are the ones that I can remember as of right now. My favorite play would have to have been, hmm, I would say that my favorite production was the Grease number that I got to do with my dance studio. And my favorite part was playing the youth leader of Grease in one of my church productions. What was your major in college? I actually had two majors in the time that I was at my Bible college. The first one was Youth Ministries Institute, which basically means you might be a leader or wanted to be a youth leader and you're working your way to becoming a youth pastor. And being a youth pastor basically means you're, you're holding youth groups and you're working with teens and you're working with kids. And then the second one that I was in was missions and basically missions is you're a missionary. You get to travel and work in different places of the world and experience different cultures. What's your favorite TV show? Obviously Riverdale is my favorite TV show. I look forward to every single episode that comes out. Blipmaster5 asked, have you ever considered moving out to the States? That's a really good question. I have a sister who lives out in the States and has lived there for four years and loving life. She lives in California and I love, love California. I get to visit her quite often, especially when I do have the time to visit her now that I'm not in school anymore. So visiting her is definitely something that I look forward to. I don't think right now I see myself moving out there to the states but i will close this answer with an open perspective by saying that you never know what the future holds if i ever do move out to the states i'd want to live somewhere in california sarah ray asked hey autumn my question is if you could travel anywhere in the world today where would you go love you i love you too sarah i would love to go to santorini greece and so does my boyfriend, which I actually got that idea of wanting to go there from him. Looking at pictures and how pretty the buildings look and it's just so different from the rest of the world, it just makes me want to go check it out for myself. I also want to go to some tropical places. Don't you ween asked. I hope I said that right. If you ever find a genie in a bottle granting you three wishes, what would those three wishes be? Well, if I definitely wasn't allowed to wish for more wishes, I would love to wish uh, for the release date of when Vine 2.0 will come out. I am so ready for Vine 2.0. My second wish would be to be an actress. That is my ultimate dream. I've wanted to be an actress since I was a little girl and to be an actress one day would just be a dream come true. And my last wish is sad but true but I wish for my dog, Coco, to come back. She passed away in September, and it's been five and a half months since, so I miss her a lot, and I wish she could come back. Morgan Nicole asked, if you could have any animal as a pet, and safety wasn't an issue, what would you choose? Can't wait for the video. Well, here you go, girl. I would love, love to have a monkey as a pet. They're they're like my spiritual animal. I've met squirrel monkeys before when I was in the Dominican Republic. They are absolutely adorable. They're swinging from trees and they're silly and they're goofy and they love eating. <laughs> Matches my personality. I just love them. I love monkeys. Rebecca Gill asked, Hey Autumn, um, my question is, what is your favorite song? And sing the song as well. 
<laughs> when I first read her question, I thought of two songs instantaneously. This is me and A Million Dreams. Both songs are from The Greatest Showman movie and I am in love with that movie. It's one of my favorites right now. I'll actually drive and sing these songs in my car. And I just love singing them because they're powerful and they mean something to me. I haven't warmed up my voice, but I'll try singing these songs. <laughs> The brightest colors fill my head A million dreams are keeping me away I'm gonna try in the instrumental one for This Is Me Another round of bullets hits my skin Will fire away Cause today I won't let the shame sink in That wasn't very good, so I hope you guys like that. <laughs> and the last question, this person wanted to stay anonymous, but this is what they had to ask. What is it like dating your best friend? As you guys know, I have been dating my boyfriend for two and a half years now, and it's been a wonderful two and a half years with the man that I love. Now just so you guys have an idea, we became more like best friends as we were dating each other rather than we knew each other before we were best friends and then we started dating. He is so wonderful. He is so funny. I love a guy who can make me laugh and he definitely makes me laugh. In fact, he can sometimes be just as goofy as I can be. <laughs> we're just, we're like this. We really connect and we have a lot of fun together. We love going on spontaneous dates and adventures, wanting to do whatever we wanted to do together. Every day we hang out and we just love being in each other's company. It always feels natural with him. It's also nice to be with someone who can help you better yourself in a way where you both encourage each other, you both help each other out, you both support each other at the same time you're growing together as well and you're bettering yourselves um, because of one another and that's exactly what we do with each other I love him and he loves me <laughs> dating him makes me happy and Puts a smile on my face, obviously. Well, that is it for my video today. Thank you guys so much for sending in those questions once again. I really, really loved doing this. Now I'm gonna leave an open door for anybody who wants to ask me a question for my second Q&A video. You know where to comment. Let me know what you want me to answer next. Remember, one question per person. Keep it clean. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for always being awesome and supportive. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh,